Commissioner David Stern. Thank you, Lakers and Celtics, for another classic. There have been five seven-game finals between these two great teams in a record 12 NBA finals between them. Thank you for the dedication, the passion, the intensity, and the teamwork. The Celtics were a worthy Eastern Conference champion. Yes, they were. But the night belongs to the 2010 NBA champion, Los Angeles Lakers. Congratulations to Dr. Buss and the entire Buss family, to Magic Johnson and Mitch Kupchak, and the entire Laker organization, to Phil Jackson and his coaching staff, and of course, to these wonderful, wonderful and talented Los Angeles Lakers. Congratulations to the fans for the, the now repeat LA Lakers 2010 NBA champions. Let's bring in the greatest Laker of them all, my colleague at ABC and part owner of the Lakers, Magic Johnson. Magic, last year, Dr. Jerry Buss's son, Joey, told me standing at this podium, he said, now that we won, we need two to meet Boston, meeting Boston's 17 championships. You're one away. What does it mean to beat the team that you're chasing all time? Well, first of all, let me congratulate the greatest owner in the world and Dr. Jerry Buss and the Buss family. Then I would also like to congratulate the back-to-back -back champions, the Los Angeles Lakers. Unbelievable. I want to say to the greatest coach in the world, Phil Jackson, and, and we do have the greatest player in the world in Kobe Bryant. And I think all the hard work paid off for this team. But the credit goes to this team and Phil Jackson, but also to Dr. Jerry Buss for always putting the best product out on the court. And to the greatest fans in the world, the Los Angeles Lakers fans, here's your trophy. Thank you very much, Dr. Buss, 16 NBA championships, back-to-back -back championships. Why is this franchise so successful? Uh, I think it may be the crowd. Uh, I'm, I think it's the best crowd in all of basketball. And quite honestly, I'm very proud to be a part of that. Uh, I think we want it more. Uh, everybody abuses L.A., beat L.A., beat L.A. I think it gives us a lot of uh, energy to come back and take it. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Buss. Congratulations. Let's bring in the coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, Phil Jackson. Where's coach? There he is. Come on, you've won 11 championships as a coach. Step to the podium. Phil, how is this 11 championship different than, say, 9 and especially 10 last year? I don't know if we've won this game without these fans. Thank you. That was tough sledding out there tonight. Your team shot 26% in the first half. You were down 13 in the third quarter. What's the most important thing you said to them during a timeout? Keep rebounding the ball. Keep getting those loose balls. Now, everybody knows when you win championships, you win them in clusters of three consecutive. You've won two straight now. When are you going to make the decision whether or not you want to come back to try again for another repeat? I got to take a deep breath. I got to take some time and think about this. This was great. I'll wait to make that decision in a week. All right. Bill Jackson, congratulations. Now to present the Bill Russell Award for the NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award 2010. Again, Commissioner David Stern. It's an honor for me to be here in the presence of the ultimate champion, Bill Russell, 
after whom the finals MVP trophy is named. And with over 28 points a game average, eight rebounds and four assists, the 2010 finals MVP and the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP is none other than Kobe Bryant. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Kobe Bryant, your fifth NBA championship. How does this one stand out for you more than one, two, three, and four? Well, this, this is the sweetest. You know, it's, um, we've been downplaying the whole series, the rivalry between us and the Celtics, because we had to focus on what we had to do. But we understood how bad the city wanted it. You know, there's no question about it. And uh, this one's by far the sweetest because it's against them and because it's the hardest one by far. You said we've been downplaying it, especially you were downplaying it. In fact, you even said, I can't get involved in the hype. How do you not get involved in the hype during the run? I try not to. I try not to. You know, tonight it got the best of me. You know, I was, I wanted it so bad. And sometimes you want something so bad, it slips away from you. And uh, my guys picked me up. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about the Spaniard. But that guy, that guy's unbelievable. And just a hell of a player. And uh, we wouldn't have won it without him. 15 rebounds. What were you, Kareem out there or what? Well, we just had to crash the boards. You know, they, they, you know whoever won the rebound, no matter one each game. So, I just trying to make a point to get in there and grab as many as I could. You've been involved so far in one of Phil Jackson's three three-peats. You have a chance next year for your second, his fourth. What are you going to say to him to try and convince him to come back? Well, you know, he knows how bad I want him back. He, he knows that. I've told him that. I've been openly blunt about it and told him how much I want him back and, uh, you know, let's go for it again. Let's go for it again. All right, congratulations to Kobe Bryant, his second NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Right, Want to congratulate both the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers together. These two franchises have